Hi, I'm Fox. You're watching the Two Smart Guys Show, where every week we bring you the latest and greatest in hacking cool new technology devices, or old devices, or devices that were never meant to be other devices, such as the Hackintosh. A Hackintosh computer, if you haven't watched our previous episodes on them, is a PC computer that you can build for like a third, uh, a high-end Mac cost, and have it be virtually the same hardware on the inside. So you can buy like a whole decked out i7 system with a really nice graphics card that'll probably blow away an iMac. Uh, and you can probably build it for significantly less, less than 500 bucks at this is what my last build was and the equivalent iMac was like 1500 so yeah there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to make a Hackintosh and I'm going to give you an overview uh, and some links to some step-by-step -step tutorials on upgrading or doing a fresh install to Mountain Lion. Here's the easy steps. One, you need to have access to a functional Macintosh running Snow Leopard version 10.66 or later and then you need to purchase the Mountain Lion application from the Mac App Store. After it's been purchased, you need to take a memory stick, at least eight gigabytes, preferably maybe 16, just in case, so you can throw more stuff on there. <laughs> and you download Unibeast from the Tony Mac website, and you run this, and it'll create a bootable USB stick. Take this USB stick and you put it on the system, that you're going to be upgrading or doing a new Hackintosh install. You make sure you go into your motherboard settings and some, some there's certain BIOS screens that you look at the step-by-step -step tutorial you want to make sure you have in place. It depends on your motherboard, but the main one is the hard drive. After you have that in place, make sure you have USB stick set to boot first, reboot your system, and then you'll have an option to boot from the USB stick and you can install a fresh Mountain Lion or you can install over the top of your existing Lion install and it'll upgrade it. After you reboot, leave the stick in there until you get to your desktop. From that point, you will download and install MultiBeast. The MultiBeast is very simple or very complicated. If you want to just have the basic functions all uh, working so you can boot up, you can go with the defaults. Otherwise, there's many options um, and like I said, we have links to tutorials and in the forums for Tony Mac that will give you much better explanation on what you might need to select for your particular system. It varies greatly on the type of motherboard that you have and video card and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so that, that's the basics of it. And after you um, select in MultiBeast what you need, and you can reboot, take out the me memory stick that you've been booting from, and you should be able to boot from the hard drive. Uh, one of the things that I noticed um, is I had to have a hard drive that was less than two terabytes as the boot hard drive. And in fact, I would highly recommend using a solid state disk at this point because they're much cheaper than they used to be, and they're so much faster. And getting test of, uh, tests of around 500 megabytes per second. On a hard drive, you're lucky to get 100. So. Anyways, that's my quick tutorial on doing a Hackintosh with Mountain Lion. I would highly recommend CPU Kid's uh, tutorial. He did a whole series that explains the kernel extensions and all the details of booting. And uh, there's this DTS file that you can put in to customize your system better to enable more of the power saving functionalities. And it, it can get pretty detailed. You can have it simple so it just boots off of the memory stick or you can get really detailed where you want every little piece working perfectly. And that's more than we're going to get into today. Uh, post in the comments below if there's information that you'd like to know, um, future episodes you'd like to see. Please subscribe to the feed. Uh, just wherever the subscribe button is, where however you're watching this or in iTunes, please subscribe to the podcast. Thank you for watching the show. We'll see you next week every Monday. Two Smart Guy Productions.